But really, if you want to throw yourself to the dogs like a f***ing steak with A1 sauce on it. Tennessee has really been going through it as of recently. So apparently a female officer was actually getting down and dirty with a bunch of other officers inside of the same precinct. In case anyone really wanted to know or was really that invested, she got with at least six of her co-workers. And what was her excuse for doing this? She was married and apparently she was engaged in an open relationship. And so she ran with it and sprinted all the way back home. And unfortunately, that would be the home of another officer. Really, this just goes to show how toxic an open relationship really can be. Because really, six of her co-workers. What was she doing? Throwing herself onto them? Like, I get it. I can respect it. It's an open relationship. She can do what she wants. She can talk to whoever she wants. But did all of them really have to be at her workplace? There is literally no kind of regard for everyone involved. To make matters worse, they would engage in tons of crazy, insensitive acts, not only while on duty, but at the police station. Like, man, they really did not care. They were going to do their thing regardless. Being on the payroll, having to save lives. What's that? Maybe I could just punish the monkey real quick. That's a better way to spend my time. But anyway, although Megan Hall was in an open relationship, the other officers that she was engaging in all of these acts with were not in open relationships. So you can really only imagine what kind of damage it did to their marriages and their families. It's hard to really feel sorry for them because, you know, they knew what they were getting into and they knew what was on the line. But to such an extent, maybe not. But it's hard to say. But then again, I would be very, very upset if I were this woman's husband. I can't even begin to imagine how this dude is going to be able to sleep at night figuring all of this out. But it really shouldn't be to any surprise because after all, their relationship was open. But to think that Megan wouldn't at least draw a line when it came to having an open marriage makes you get a better understanding as to how dangerous these kinds of situations can really be because not only is the husband still emotionally attached to this woman, but six other officers that she works with on a day-to-day -day basis are also attached to her. Now, if they all figure out that she's doing all of these things with all of these other people from officer to officer, or from her husband to another officer. It really makes you only imagine what it could have done to the mental of all of these guys involved. Especially considering that this was something that happened on multiple occasions. Or even her mental as well. She would even go as far as to pulling the trigger on an empty gun while having it aimed at her temple, saying that she would do this so that she can hear what it would sound like. And an officer, after witnessing this, would say that Megan was suffering from mental illness. Goodness gracious, this entire situation just seems unreal. She would even go as far as to kissing one of the officer's wives. So she would go from kissing another man's wife and then end up bragging about another officer's big black yeah. I, I think you get the point here. If down bad was a word, you would find this woman in the dictionary for it. Like, okay, an open relationship, I get it. You know, that's your relationship. You could do whatever you want with it. And it's your body. It's your rules. I'm not going to tell her who she can and couldn't sleep with. But for crying out loud, where's the god dignity? She was hoeing around with six other of her co-workers. Some of them were married. And even she ended up <laughs> kissing on another person's wife. This is insane. It gets even worse because she would end up having a three-way with an officer named Maglioco and his wife. And before she would end up doing this, she would ask her husband and he would say that he wasn't really on board. However, she would continue to have a relationship with Maglioco. Oh my God, where was the restraint? But I'm not really surprised because this is what you can expect from an open relationship. It's just lies within the intent of having one in the first place obviously to have an open relationship you're going to be able to do things with other people and that just goes to show what's really interesting you when it comes to being in your relationship at that point you're just valuing procreation over your own partner that you're supposed to love but really if you want to throw yourself to the dogs like a steak with a1 sauce on it or let alone be a doorknob and have everyone get a turn i don't care what kind of viewpoint you have an open relationship really just says that you don't really like your partner. Now, whether or not she was looking for a form of satisfaction in other people and possibly trying to find that satisfaction with herself from hoeing around with all of her other co-workers, but her husband is a 
fucking loser. I, I don't care what anybody says or thinks. Really, this guy is on some cuck energy. I, I don't think anyone should want to be like this guy in the slightest or accept any of this happening to them because even so, he would go to her defense and be perfectly fine for it. Obviously, he knew what he was getting into, so of course, he wouldn't be so upset. But who knows, because then again, he wouldn't really appreciate the idea of his wife having a threesome with Maglioko and his wife. Now, how does everyone move on from this? It's really hard to say, because really, you had a lot of people that were not in open relationships getting involved with this woman, so that just shows how much damage she really caused with her antics. People lost their careers, people lost their wives, and possibly their children all for some sex, which they could have gotten from their significant other in the first place. But you also signed up for that by choosing who you wanted to marry. So in reality, all these mother suck. I can't really hold you. Like you're telling me none of these people could have found satisfaction with their significant others, so they had to look to find some sort of satisfaction from other people. And that's even if that was the intent. That's even if they actually genuinely cared about the person they were screwing with. But then again, all these could just be some nasty perverts. All in all, all I see is a group of people who chose sex over saving lives because they were doing things that they shouldn't while on the clock. They chose sex over their marriages. They chose sex over their children. And honestly, they chose sex over themselves. Now, all I can really do is wonder if it was really worth it. <laughs>